our round trip road trip from the hills of West Virginia to the suburbs of Washington, D.C. to attend this Hofla put on by Berna and Razzle. And wow, I was not expecting that. Stay with us, dancers, if you want to see what this Hofla was like. Dancers, I am Jen Suya helping you to achieve your belly dance dreams with the technique and culture of belly dance. If you're new to the channel, subscribe so that you can be sure to get every one of our awesome videos that we upload every Monday. Yes, I am buzzing because we just got back from this amazing Hofla. And yeah, I was surprised because the quality of the dancing, wow. Wow, it was awesome. Come along with me on this vlog and see our entire day as we attended the Hofla Bacon, Eggs, and Betty Dance with Razzly and Berna. The hardest thing about doing this Hofla is that the organizer, Rachel, specifically said, please come to the Hofla all dressed because there's not much room to change. And of course, my costumes are totally like 10 million different parts. So I'm like, oh my God. So that's the most stressful part is how am I going to get changed? So, and I've only had a few hours sleep because we had this awesome gig last night. It was really amazing. Everything is still a complete mess. And I kind of want to wear a bedla, not a dress like I would wear at a school program. So I got to figure out how to do this and make it easy to change without all my, because I have all this stuff and I usually spread everything out. Yes, the harem pants. I usually wear these for stages that are up high so people can't like see under my skirt, but it's easy because all I have to do is put that on easy. Don't even have to shave legs. This is an easy one. This is what I'm gonna do. And then I'll tie this big going for color. I don't have to ask other people for help with this costume. Still has a ton of bracelets. Oh, I need the armbands from last night. Okay, uh, silver, I need the gold ones. Well, throw those in in case I forget. And this cover up is still packed from last night, so I can just throw that in there. We'll go with red, purple, green, multicolored, easy. Uh, necklace, earrings, sandals, dance bag still packed from last night. I've got one, two, Three types of sandals, depending on the floor. This is usually my restaurant go-to for sandals. That, that sole usually works. Sometimes it's a little slippery, but that works. If it's too slippery, then I have these. These are great because they move with your foot, but they take a long time to put on because you gotta tuck all that stuff in. I have to figure out a way to make that easier. It's like putting on ballet shoes. Um, and then if it's all concrete floors, which I don't think it is, I think it's tile. This is what I wore last night, dancing around the concrete pavers around the pool. So small house, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine costumes under here, which can double. Usually there's 10. Where did I put the gold armbands? Maybe this one. Oh, yes. Yay! No veil, because we're just doing drum solo. So I'm gonna leave the veil. That makes it easy. Cover up, shoes, costume, skirt, and over the door hanger. There's my coffee, second coffee. Time to get my face washed and makeup. And more coffee. looking in the mirror here and I see my makeup is not perfect today but 
things are rarely going to be perfect. You just have to figure what's the most important thing and just move on. So what I'm really excited about is meeting a whole bunch of new dancers. And when I was looking at um, Rachel's Facebook page for the event and seeing she had listed the dancers who would be in there and pictures, and I was like, wow, I mean, it looks exciting because people were in all different types of costumes and different types of poses and it looked like they're gonna do different kinds of music. I don't know, maybe people are not even doing Middle Eastern music, maybe we're doing different genres. We're gonna do a drum solo. Um, so I'm very excited to meet people and see what, you know, what are they doing with their belly dance. One of the hot floors we've been to a lot is strictly like almost all just performance after performance, which is really cool because you can see a lot of different styles. Another one is performances and a lot of party time. People bring food and wine and that's really cool. Um, and a lot of group dances, a lot of troop dances in these. This one today, I think, is like all solo, so that will be really cool. I'm really interested to see how this Hofla differs from the ones I've been through. If there's um, being close to Washington DC city, if a city Hofla is different uh, from a country Hofla, Belody Hofla. A couple of good dancer friends said, hey, we're coming to the Hofla. They couldn't get in because it's totally booked, which tells me that there need to be more Hoflas, dancers. It's a performance art, we like to perform. So I'm thinking we should be having more Hoflas, dancers. Comment below, do you guys have enough performance outlets? I think that's a big thing. I think dancers need and want more performance outlets, different type. Again, you should check out the video we had on first, the first performer venues that I did because those were a lot of ideas. Family parties, uh, hoflas like this, but I'm still thinking that there is still a need and a desire for more hoflas or more performances. We, we, want, we want to show off our stuff. We want to meet other dancers. I know me in particular, I, I don't do the style called tribal. I appreciated it. I don't do it. I love to dance with other dancers. What I love to do, course I love to perform you know I want to show my artwork blah 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 but I love having those group dances with other dancers where we're just having fun to the music just really just having a good time together I would like more of that so this Hofla is being put on by Rachel who goes by Razzly Dance and B I love the energy of both of them um, I've never seen Rachel dance live, seen her on YouTube, and we just hit it off at Kathy Yoon's uh, swap be belly dance and costume swap meet last year. B, we've played Turkish festival with her. I'm excited to get to know them better, to meet these new dancers. And we're here at the uh, Bacon, Eggs, and Belly Dance Hafla <laughs> at Eleni's Greek Taverna in Springfield, yep. Virginia. Virginia, USA. So at 11 o'clock this morning, I received a costume that I ordered back in May, <laughs> and I tried it on, and it fit. So I'm going to wear it today, and fingers you've crossed. Had, so you've had no time to actually dance in it and check, like, the um, fasteners. Maybe 30 seconds I was dancing in it. It'll be fine. We originally wanted to give people performance opportunities that were at all levels. Uh, nice. They're during a time of the day when it's not when a professional dancer is going to be dancing at a restaurant. It's not at a like time, a Saturday like night. A Saturday night. People just like a space to feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of different belly dance schools here, but this is kind of neutral ground. We all kind of come together and we have a good time. And we get friends and family that come from a good distance away. Like you guys are about two hours yeah, away. Two yeah. hours. Oh gosh, right? So Elaney's is a family-run establishment. So our main goal is to have fun. Just have fun and be yourself. Um, we're, this time we're taking donations and we are going to benefit the Friends of the Fairfax County Animal Shelter. Love it. And then we're also going to hopefully use some of the proceeds to have live music next time. Yay! We 
we have a lot of great musicians yeah. around. I mean, I know uh, you guys play, yeah. which is awesome. But just the, having that vibe. Uh, more traditional Hofla. When I grew up, it was kind of Hoflies. So it was everybody danced. There really wasn't a performance opportunity, but it was more just social and musicians. Really one of my first teachers was from, she's Lebanese. Okay. And um, she used to talk about the Hoflies all the time. Yeah. It's a oh. super fun vibe. Great. Yeah, yeah awesome. it was awesome. Delaney! Delaney! We love oh, having the girls it. here. And our customers love it. They come and yeah, watch I mean, the girls. Like, so, how could you not? How could you not? Yeah, you're right. You're Wonderful. Right. So they've yeah. become an addition to my family, and I Yay. love them. They're yeah. sweet. This is Sabiha. And so today you're performing. Yes. Uh, what style? Uh, Egyptian cabaret. Nice. Uh, it's a popular song, so, so it's edging a little closer to Shabi. Great. And so did you choreograph it? Improv? A mixture? It's a mixture. There's okay. certain parts where I know I want to do a certain kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and just to fit it with the music, fit it with the phrasing. Beautiful. Um, and work in the gestures so, to make sure everybody knows what's going on. Yeah. Now we're on the two hour drive home from the Hofla. It was super fun. It was really great. Bob, what's the first thing that comes to your mind from the Hofla? What, uh, what, what do you think? Well, the, the fact that uh, the first Hofla I had ever been to, that they said, yeah, you can take, you can take photos, video, you can do anything you want. And, and if anyone has a problem with that, they can just say it, but no one did. Alhamdulillah. So for Bob, who's a class photographer, that was really nice because he felt free to do it. Plus, we got to make this vlog. And in fact, everybody was psyched about making the vlog. So that's pretty awesome. The caliber of the dancing was excellent. There was at least one dancer who I think this was like her second solo performance. And that was Bravo. That was awesome. There were all skill levels there. Obviously, people had prepared. It was fun. There was different styles, different types of music. B and Rachel, who ran it, just they just created a vibe that was really welcoming and fun the drawbacks okay because we have to like this is real we have to say the drawbacks right the drawback is it is a long drive and if i had to say uh it would be awesome for rachel and me to have microphones so that everybody because everybody in the restaurant really enjoyed the show it wasn't a hotel just for dancers it was you know, kind of a public 
kind of a public hofla, so it'd be great for them to have microphones so the restaurant could hear. So you've noticed there's no B-roll of the bathroom changing situation. Everything worked out, it was great, um, and it was, here's the thing for me, if I'm going to do a hofla like that, I got to have a simpler costume because it was a lot of work for a short dance, which is what happened. Awesome, awesome day. If you enjoy seeing vlogs, hit the like button. Smash it. Smash, Smash the it, like baby. Button. And make sure you hit the subscribe. Because this is very different from the how-to videos or preparation videos, that sort of thing. So let me know if you liked it so we can make some more for you. Hey. And leave your comments below. Right. We really need to leave hear from comments. you yeah. so that we can tailor this for you. For you, baby. What to watch next is if you're getting ready for a Hofla, how to prepare for a Hofla, what is a Hofla? Crush it. Keep crushing it with your belly dance. Party on. Masalama. La, la, la.